Okay, so right now I'm going to show you like a super fast way to make uh, some tapered arms using strokes and shape layers instead of hand drawing your rigged limbs. Uh, this way saves you a ton of time and it actually it moves so much smoother, um, especially at the joints because you only have one layer to create your entire uh, limb. So highly recommend this method uh, and I'm going to see how fast we can do it right here. Uh, I have rigged this character pretty much um, everything except for the arms and you can see underneath I still have the sketch layer but everything here was mostly drawn in Procreate and I transferred the layers here and rigged it up got some expressions going on so she can move her head torso and legs and now I just need some cool arms to cap this off and I thought it'd be a lot easier to just make them in After Effects. So what I'm going to do is create a new layer, shape layer. And I'm just going to follow the shape of the arm here with my pen tool. One point, elbow point, wrist point. I already have the color selected that I want to use, which is the same color as the torso, but if you don't, you just go ahead and select that and you want to create a line width that's as wide as the widest part of your limb is going to be so looking at the sketch here it's probably going to be about here I use butt capper it's a free plugin and it's awesome battle axe makes it uh, so you can actually I already have it open but you'd go up to your window um, find it over here and that just allows me to add a round cap and also alt double click makes it so that the joints will be rounded as well I'm actually going into the layer panel here so it doesn't save me a ton of time because I have to go in anyway but it's it's a nice little plugin to have anyway you can see now if I select the path and move it pretty cool bends nicely rounded and that right there is really all that I would need but I'm gonna go a step further here and open up the stroke panel and go down here to taper and essentially I want to shape this arm so that it's kind of tapered like a hand-drawn arm you know more like a real arm would look so we'll start with the start length end length because the top is a little stubbier I want the length to be a little bit shorter and the bottom has a, a really long taper so the end length is going to be a lot longer and I don't need to worry about the width here I'm just going to go straight to the easing so the start ease which would be at the top right about here end ease about there I'm going to increase the end length a bit. Cool. And that oblong shape will move very nicely as it is. Again, looks, looks great as it is, but I want to take it one step further, actually. And you can see, too, in real time, the taper effect is real time responsive because it uses... Uh, percentages so you get that added movement up here at the top of the shoulder when it shortens which is pretty neat <clears throat> now I'm going to go down here to wave and this is just really optional part but I like to do this um, I'm going to add a little bit of a wave effect here you can see it kind of shapes gives you a little waveform. You can get extreme, but I just want a little something. And if I increase the wavelength so that there's only two crests, you'll have a little dip sort of near where the elbow would be. And if you can't get that lined up where you need it to, you can mess with the phase. And there we have an awesome shape. 
That's pretty much exactly what I'm going for. I am going to mess with the width, the end width on this, just to make the shape closer to what I had in my drawing. And that pretty much covers the shape. It moves so nicely. And there are ways that you could rig this um, for perspective purposes. You know, you can see here, this is a really difficult thing to achieve, uh, that perspective look. And you have it so easily here just by using this shaped stroke. I'm going to actually use Duik to create an IK on it, but that right there is also an option. So before I do any of that, I'm going to save my project, name this file, or name this layer. This is going to be my left arm. And then I'm going to duplicate it because I'll be using the same thing for the other side. And one thing I'll add to both of these beforehand is I'm going to go into layer styles and add a stroke. And I'm just going to try to match the stroke that I already have over here. And grab the color. It is pure black, but color matching is ideal. This looks like it's about two pixels, so that looks good. I'll copy that layer style, control C, go over to my other arm, control V, paste that. And now I'm going to use, uh, I'll actually close this and open it again. There is a plugin that comes native with After Effects, create nulls from paths, or I don't know, maybe you need to download it, but this is free and it, it is supposed to ship with after Effects, I believe. Um, using this plugin, I'm going to select the shape path here and select points follow nulls. And what this is going to do is it's going to take each point on the line and create a null uh, for it to follow, which is great because now you have a, an easy way to manipulate it without opening up the layer. And I can rename each of these. It's going to be left wrist, left elbow, left shoulder. And these are going to completely control the arm. <clears throat> so I'm going to parent them in reverse order, wrist to elbow elbow to shoulder, and then selecting all three of those, I want to go to my window and open Duik. And under rigging, I can just auto rig this. Boom, easy, inverse kinematics. Arm looks awesome, highly responsive. The list goes on and on, it's great. I like to shut off auto stretch and I can just sync this into my file. So select all those and put them in order here. very good when you have a project with a lot of layers to color code everything. So there they are. I actually don't need to be able to control these, so I can shut off visibility for those joints, lock them, and oop, shy them and everything will still move the way that I need it to. So I wanted to attach the palm. Everything is actually attached appropriately already. Um, I want my left hand, sorry, to attach to the wrist. 
So I'll look for the left wrist over here. And the left cuff as well will attach to the wrist. Which is in place now. Ah, that's it. Yes. So opening up the wrist. <laughs> I figured this out the other day and it was uh, irritating me, but with Duick it automatically attaches the rotation to uh, the IK chain, but you don't need it on the last one. So I'm going to alt left click the rotation there and now everything should move in line. Yeah, that is it. And that should not affect the overall performance of your rig. All right, that's the arm. I want to attach the shoulder. to my torso shoulder. I'm gonna speed through this other arm so you can see them both in action. Okay, so the other arm is fully operational at this point. So I want to do one more thing. This may or may not pan out here, but um, another option, optional thing you can do here is uh, just to add these extra lines. Uh, that's literally all it is here, is just this little teeny line that I hand drew and they work pretty well to just recreate the look of breaking the, the line with a hand drawing. What I'm doing is attaching it to the, I'm going to attach both of these to the elbow, the left elbow. See how it moves. Looks pretty good, and um, you can basically like shut these off depending on which way the arm is moving. So looks like because it's moving that way, you can add it to that side. It just adds a little crease in the elbow, uh, and that's it. I'm going to duplicate these, add them to the right arm. There you have it. The greatest <laughs> arm rig of all time. That is uh, really a matter of opinion, but I think there will be at least five people that agree with me. So let's see, do you agree? Let me know in the comments. Um, if you make anything with this, I'd love to see it. Definitely get at me. And uh, if, if I messed anything up, if you think I'm sloppy, <laughs> you can let me know that too. Um, please like and subscribe. Got lots more of these coming. So uh, let's make some animations, huh?